Howard on the uh, Graham Cannon board of education meeting uh, uh, open the day. So with that, we'll start with prior uh, move to do that board, please. And that'll be followed by Mr. Garland. He'll release the pledge. Dear Mr. Lord, we thank you today. Thank you for time. Thank you for your grace to give us what your son and the now on cross for sins. And we simply believe in that, Lord, we have to turn to you. Lord, I should be at our uh, school board today, Lord, and uh, as a uh, governor, Lord, and I should be guidance and wisdom. And be the whole school system, Lord. Things that are going on, Lord, you know what they are with the kids, teachers, whatever. I just pray you give us all a little bit of extra peace and grace and guidance, Lord, so we can do your will. And always do what's the best interest of our kids, Lord, because that's the main side. And they're all precious in your sight. Thank you for all you've done for us, Lord. You're the best. So I'm glad you leave us. Thank you for the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, we'll make it for today's agenda. So Is there a second? Second. All in favor? All right. And uh, approval of the November 2nd minutes. I'll we'll take a motion for the All right. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Meeting is now open for public comment. Got anything? Uh, yeah. uh. Motion to close. Motion to close. Uh, motion to close public comment. So moved. For a second. Second. All in favor. Discussion reports items. Uh, Ms. Knight, uh, district improvement plan. Yes, so at the last board meeting, you were given a copy of the district improvement plan. That's a plan that has to be submitted to Wally. Um, in your, on your table, there are a few things that have to go along with that. Uh, that had to be posted for public comment. Uh, I have a, in your, in your packet, the top page is where this was on our website. Uh, there was a place where they could, anyone from the public could go there and comment on the plans, the letters that went out to the, uh, all the students' families are also on the front page of the website. Um, there's that. Uh, you had the second page, it was the response sheet for public comment from the website. You can see there was uh, one comment and it was a test uh, response that we did when we first did the survey. So there were no further comments. There, um, third page, you will have a copy of where we sent out a uh, parent link phone call regarding the um, district improvement plan and how they could look at that, where they could find that and comment on that, as well as the, when the board meeting would be uh, for them to come to this board meeting, which was uh, actually going to be December 1st. Um, and then the, um, the last page is the page where this went out. Uh, as of November, November 1st, it went out to the, uh, our, my staff for them to know about how to comment and anything that would pass along the board. I had no further comments from staff either. Um, we did put out um, a message uh, about our uh, this emergency board meeting. Uh, it went to the newspaper. It was posted. All we have to do is uh, let the media know we had to post that on the door so that the public can know but we also did put it on the facebook or the website excuse me saying that the meeting had been changed to today so it was uh, we had met all the requirements we didn't have to do as far as getting that out for public comment and um, just now it's uh, we're entertaining any questions you have or um, comments that you would have for the district improvement plan it has been also, the uh, FBI has looked at it preliminarily and they have had no further comments. Has not had any further comments? Mm -hmm. They reviewed it last week. Any questions or comments that come tonight? Can I entertain a motion then to, uh, to approve the district uh, improvement plan? So, so moved. Second. Thank you. 
Did you? Uh, uh, the so, I'll the summary. I'll wait. And then, uh, uh, Ms. Knight, principals. Uh, yeah, so in much the same as the district improvement plan was put out there, so, so was the school improvement plans. Um, and each of the schools were represented here. If you have questions for any of the school improvement plans for either of the schools. So I'll, uh, again, we've had time to look at these. So if you have questions or comments for the respective principals here. Okay. All right, we'll start. We'll do these individually, so we'll start with the elementary. You're taking a motion to approve uh, Robin Lowe through school improvement. So, is there a second? Second. All in favor? All right. Uh, again, you're taking a motion to approve to approve uh, uh, Robinson Middle School's school improvement plan. So moved. Second. So, All in favor? And then uh, lastly, Robinson High School. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. All in favor? All right. Um, so that takes care of our business for today. Announcements? It's not. Uh, we will need to set the date for the next board meeting. Uh, as, as you know, we, yet, we do not yet have our final um, board member for the new election. Uh, there will be a hand counted um, recount on Friday afternoon. Uh, it's my understanding that there will be an unofficial announcement after that count is completed and then it will be official as of Monday morning according to the Board of Elections office. So uh, your board meeting would need to be set anytime after you know, I'll whatever, happened about the, whatever happened about that. Did you talk to Chris that we have to have a person in? She was thinking that we were having a meeting tomorrow, so what she was thinking has something to do with it. So we can set it at? You can set it anytime from Monday on. Oh, okay. So um, I will tell you that um, board training for a new board member is December 12th and 13th at uh, Raleigh. So they would likely need to be sworn in prior to that so that they could officially. So they are going to actually have it in person this they year. They will have it in person this That's year. Good. Um, you have a calendar in your packet as well. If you want to look at that. Um, and Fort Julie also put some upcoming events and the sports schedule in your packets. Um, your your regularly scheduled meeting would have been um, December the 6th at 10 a.m. If you want to follow that continued pattern. Any thoughts? I just personally well, said, leave, leave it I know that you were doing the we December had, not meeting, but um, I guess it's going to be a little different. But we had, we had uh, you know, we were going to have an evening meeting. <coughs> The board had passed that they had entertained that we could have an evening meeting one and then hopefully depending on how many people showed up maybe we could possibly i i propose that we have one in the fall i guess it's not winter yet is it no one in the fall and one in the spring just to give people because one meeting's not enough so i would still like to have that at five o'clock because i think we moved it from six to five because mr carriage was going to be Going out of town this Thursday, correct? Yeah, this yeah, so, Thursday. Yeah, so this, we're, we're looking at next week. Yeah, we're looking at next week. So, so our meeting, regardless of what time, has to be the first part of the week. Well, it, it, it would be helpful. I will say that on the, and, and Ms. Sawyer, the 8th, I believe that is senior interviews, kind of like their senior speech night. So that would really take a lot of people out of the mm -hmm. equation for that evening. Um, so if you could avoid Thursday, I think that would be a good idea. House and thoughts? Uh, on Mondays and Thursdays, you know, the bills will have games. Um, if we do it on those two days, I may not be available. On Tuesdays and Fridays, high school goes down, right? But it won't take the coach out. It's not, I don't know if it's relevant, but most of us will be gone on 
Wednesday. Tuesday, Wednesday. We won't get back to like Wednesday with Mr. That's going to be in Charlotte. Um, I really think for the next meeting, the, the main order of business would be for them to uh, uh, seat the new members, to swear them in, and to then set whatever time is the new board they choose to have the, the meeting there. So that's going to be the main order of business. There will not be much other business going on. We unless just, we did it that morning on, the, on Tuesday morning. But yeah, we can, we'll leave at 2 o'clock on Tuesday, and we'll be gone Tuesday night, all day Wednesday, getting on about 10.30 at night. Well, actually, relevantly, most school boards don't even have principals come to their meetings. I did find out they only send a report to the secretary, which is Miss Knight, and I have I have yeah. found that out. Well, I'm just saying one across the because because I some I had someone that went to a meeting and was I couldn't go to the meeting and check was checking to see that that really a lot of places have never heard of principals coming they just send a report to the secretary because it takes them out of their schools and a majority of them do that but i make a motion that we have it on thursday at five o'clock since we're going to try to stick with the evening thursday. meetings thursday. is that what time is that not the exact same senior. time as the senior I mean Tuesday, Tuesday at five o'clock. I'm sorry, Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Not not Thursday, Tuesday. Tuesday at six. Tuesday at five. Since we were gonna have it at five. <coughs> we could have it at six, six. No, it was six. six. The day the six, six. that wouldn't affect you any. Right? No, I can do it on my birthday. Hey. On basketball game. So Tuesday at five. If that's okay with everybody, it's going to matter. 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 It's going to matter